What's going on y'all? We are back out here on the jet ski, about to get ready to run out, and we are gonna do a first here on the channel, and actually a first for me. I have never caught a triple tail, and we're gonna use this jet ski today to run some buoys, try to find us a triple tail. Safety first. All right, so we just pulled up on our first run of crab traps. We're gonna start running down through here trying to sight cast some blackfish or a uh, triple tail. The setup that we're gonna be using right here is just a real light uh, spinning setup, 20 pound test, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. Running a pretty shallow leader because I expect those triple tail to be a little bit uh, higher up, close to those buoys, so I don't want a whole lot of leader. I want that shrimp close to the surface. And I just got three dozen shrimp right here strapped down to my cooler. So that's the setup. I'm not gonna rig up anything until I spot one. But yeah, we're gonna get down through here, run down these crab traps, see if we can find one. So I was sitting here running these crab pots and I got this huge flock of seagulls right in front of me just diving down on the water. I don't know what they're on top of, but I think it's some fish that's got some bait fish schooled up right there. Definitely something going on. We're gonna go check it out. Oh, we got whacked. We're on, we're off. Okay, first cast. I'm gonna go ahead and beach this thing, get out and cast around in here. It were on, as soon as we beached it. Uh, is that a lady fish? No, don't be a school of ladies now. It's gotta be more than just lady fish. All right, well this is our first fish. Actually, that's a Big freaking lady too. My goodness. All right then, bye bye. Easy release. Ladyfish are a ton of fun to catch, especially on fly gear. I'm hoping it's just not a big school of them though. Yep, there, I mean, there's just a frenzy going on out here. Just seeing bait fish getting smashed on. Come on, let's go. Right there in front of me on big and big fish big lady oh my goodness <laughs> man look at the size of that lady fish let's go swung my bait off you dirty dog all right my goodness Dude, like a 25 inch ladyfish. Well, that is what is out here terrorizing the bait. And uh, what has these birds just going crazy? I do see a trout slick sitting up there though. It could get good, y'all. It could get real good. All right, I am gonna re-rig with a Nuke Juice Hoodwink. I was throwing the white minnow of death, but this water is super clear. I feel like if there are any trout, redfish are flounder in the area something like this will probably get bit a little bit better whenever you got clear water clean water like this lures that are clear like this one right here this is a clear green with some red flake it's just a little bit more subtle than just a bold in your face color like our pearl white We're on. Oh, is that another lady? It is. <laughs> oh man, these dirty dogs. I'm telling you, they are fun though, man. You wanna talk about something smacking your bait, nailing it, peel and drag off, aerobatics, the whole nine yards. <laughs> if these guys were any bit edible, 
which I have heard they are absolutely disgusting to eat, so I would not try it. But if they were any bit at all edible, this would be one of the most sought after fish out here. If they were just edible, they had a little bit of table fare. Oh, look at the size of these guys. Look at them. Look, look at how big this dude is, man. Son of a gun. Another thing about these guys, the reason why people don't like them is they are extremely bloody, messy. They will poop all over you. So when people boat flip them or sling them in their boat, they typically have to scrub the deck right after because they make an absolute mess. It's gotta be something else out here. Come on. All this bait that's in the area, gotta be something else. Oh, we're nailed wrong. Oh, <laughs> all right, all right, we're either gonna move down. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> Come on, man. Unreal. And these guys are just big too. Uh, every one of these guys is about 23 inches or so. See, dude. All right, let's push this thing off. Go track down another school of fish. Come on. There we go. Just like that. That's how easy this thing is. Just get around. Just like that. Safety first. y'all so we are over here off the beach now ran into this little area so much bait it's right here off the edge of this piece of structure it's right on off of the beach all this bait's got to be bringing in something bigger there he is whoa that's a big one that's a big fish oh don't be oh did he come off God. No, Nate. That was a big fish. I don't believe that was a lady fish either. We're in a brand new spot. Oh, man. I think that was a big trout. All right. There's got to be more where that came from. All right. It appears that nothing else is over there. Go ahead and push the ski back off. Head back out, chase down some more fish. Yeah. Safety first. just pulled up on this gas rig right here in the middle of the bay and uh, we're gonna throw out our live shrimp hopefully don't use it all I don't know what's even gonna be down around this rig it really could be anything we're in 15 foot of water right here but what I do know is that there's definitely fish there so I'm gonna use our live shrimp drop down around this rig see what I can pick up all right so I'm just gonna use a simple split shot rig right here and I'm gonna take that shrimp hook it right there in front of the horn use that guy we're gonna ease up a little bit closer try to get right on top of that rig see what's down there all right first drop going down with the live shrimp we're on we're on ah no clue what that was took my bait let's try that again we're on we're on he went straight down come up is that a speckled trout? All right, looks like we got some trout down there. Little fella. All right, chill, chill. I 
All right, dude, get bigger. See if we can pick up something a little better. He's on, he's on. Another speckled trout. Looks like this rig is covered in speckled trout. They're little fellas, but there might be some bigger ones down there. Bye-bye. Rather than wasting all of my shrimp on these small trout, I'm gonna throw a hoodwink in there. The hoodwink is excellent. I'm on. First cast. Yep. Like I was saying, the hoodwink is excellent at catching trout. Man, first cast. That one there is a tad bit bigger, really close to legal. Probably not quite though. Get turned back around in the right direction. Can we do that again? We're on. Back to back cast. First two casts with the hoodwink. Yes, sir. There are so many speckled trout on this rig right now. Bye bye. There he is. That's a better feeling fish, I think. Nah, he just had a mouthful of water. That might be a keeper. Yeah, I think that one would keep. We're gonna let him go though. He's a little on the small side. Well, I'll tell you what, who needs live shrimp when you got hoodwinks? Ah, my bad, dude. My bad. Bye bye. All right, so we are just out here freestyling today. It is not how I expected the day to shape out. We were looking for triple tail, have not seen the first sign of one. Went out, we hit, hit the beach, got some ladyfish. Decided to come over here. We're on trout, but check it out. If y'all like this type of content right here where I just run around and kind of freestyle fish and just try to make stuff happen, get this video to 800 likes. If y'all get this video to 800 likes, I will come out here and do more videos just like this. So this is the lure we're throwing right here. It is our Southern Salt Hoodwink. Uh, in a nuke juice color. I'm gonna link those down below in the description. They are killer for speckled trout, redfish flounder, and really just about anything. But I do got that paired up with a quarter ounce jig head and that has been the deal so far. I will link all that down below. I'll throw a pearl white hood wink in there and see what happens. I feel like, oh, we're on on the drop, okay. Figured the white would be a little too bold, but I want to try to also pull them out from underneath that that rig. If they can kind of see the lure in the distance, maybe they'll come get on it. Because I don't want to get too close to that rig, but I feel like that might be where the big ones are. Got them! Got them! <laughs> Man, dude, there's so many fish down there. It is unreal. Another undersized trout. Now we are in the state of Alabama. Speckled trout here, you're allowed to keep six of them and they have to be between 15 and 22 inches. That guy right there is about 13 inches or so. All right, so if y'all were out here in my situation fishing this rig, 15 foot of water right now, covered with fish, what would be your number one go-to lure? What would be the lure y'all would tie on and color? Throw in color in there too. I'm curious to know what y'all would throw out here to catch these fish. Got him. That, he nailed it. That one, a little bit better little bit better that's gonna be a keeper yeah that's another keeper speckled trout so that would be our second keeper if we were keeping y'all look at that guy right there <sighs> I 
Y'all check that guy out right there. Just a grunt and two nice healthy male. We'll see you, buddy. All right, so that's gonna be our last speckled trout on this rig. We're gonna move on down, see what else we can find around here. But check it out. This is why I bought this jet ski, right? I mean, I've sat there, I'm probably pushing around 25 miles today. I ran all the way to the west end of Dolphin Island, chasing down crab pots. Yeah, we ain't found a triple tail yet, but we were able to do that. I'd never be able to do that on my kayak. Uh, we chased down some birds, found some ladyfish, came back in, hit another area down on the beach, hooked a nice speckled trout, ran out to this rig. So it's a lot of running and I'm able to do it very efficiently. I'm able to do it quickly, running about 45 miles an hour at times, depending on the, you know, the conditions, the water and stuff. And we're still out here running and it is only 11 o'clock. So yeah, I'm loving this thing. This is why I bought the ski right here. I know we haven't caught anything of significant size yet, but like I stated, uh, in my previous video, fishing on the ski offshore, there's a lot that I'm still trying to learn about the limits of this thing. I don't really, there are certain things that I'm uncomfortable with. I'm still trying to learn, um, you know, and it's all going to come with time. But I'm stoked to be able to get on the fish that we did get on today. I'm having a blast. I'm going to stop yapping. We're going to run down here, see if we can find some more fish. Safety first. back at the ramp now as y'all can tell i did not find any triple tail however i had an awesome time out here this morning amazing day on the water i hope y'all enjoyed this video if y'all would smash that subscribe button we got a ton of awesome content coming y'all's way and if you subscribe that will make sure that y'all get to see that uh, when i drop it so yeah until next time tight lines we'll see you back on the water